These robots can sing, rap, and greet you in four different languages. They can also mop, vacuum, and scrub for up to 20 hours straight. That's why they've become the unsung heroes in the fight against the coronavirus outbreak. Local startup line Spot says demand for its products has doubled recently. Calls are coming from hotels, shopping malls, and office buildings. What happens is a lot of building owners are requesting their cleaning service providers to do more surface wipe down and disinfection. So there's a shortage of manpower and they will probably need additional help to do floor care. And that's where uh, autonomous cleaning robots will come in very handy. Big hospitals use robots for menial tasks like cleaning and delivery so staff can focus on caring for patients. But very few hospitals in Singapore have them. The main source of manpower support currently comes from a robust network of primary care physicians. This private practice is one of nearly 900 family clinics recently activated and paid for by the Ministry of Health to treat suspect cases. We are preventing patients from traveling to big institutions like hospitals, like polyclinics, so they can be seen in their neighborhood. And that reduces the amount of contacts that they could potentially pass the coronavirus to. So I think that really, really makes a big difference. Singapore has the world's second highest density of robots after South Korea, but most of them are factory robots used in electronics. There's a shortage of these service robots that can respond to a global health emergency. The government is encouraging companies to innovate, offering 50% cash back for each robot purchase. It's all part of a long-term commitment to transform an aging workforce and reduce labor costs. That transformation has been relatively slow in the healthcare sector, mainly because of a lengthy and stringent certification process. Key issue is how do you ramp up your supply chain become very crucial. So whether your robot can produce locally without being blocked off by the uh, international travel, that become very critical. Lionsbots say they can produce up to four units per day and plans to roll out 300 robots this year in Singapore. It'll still cost you 25,000 US dollars to become a robot owner, but it might, as the rap goes, make a world light up. Sandy Huang, TRT World, Singapore.